something I went through yesterday dining at a restaurant Claymont inspired me to make this video today so watch this video in its entirety and hopefully the takeaway that you get from it will motivate you to start this profitable side hustle Welcome back to another episode of Side Hustle Inspiration. Thank you for viewing my channel. And yes, it's me one more time. Today I'm talking about a slightly adverse experience I went through yesterday dining at a restaurant in Claymont off of Naaman's Road. All I'm gonna say is this. And if you know who I am, then you know what restaurant it is. I'm not gonna drop no names. All I gotta say is coconut shrimp. All right, so today I'm talking about an unfortunate, a slightly unfortunate experience that I went through yesterday at this restaurant in Claymont. I made a decision to stop by the restaurant real quick for lunch, even though I'm supposed to be on this beginning of a weight loss journey. Excuse me. I get to the restaurant yesterday to have some lunch. Now typically I pay $10.99 for lunch. Everybody pays that. And because I haven't been there in the last two to three weeks, I'm assuming about two to three weeks, I didn't know that the restaurant recently had a dollar increase which is fine that's cool um, because i really didn't have intentions of staying consistent eating at um, this particular style restaurant anyway so i get to the restaurant yesterday and eat my lunch the aisle over from me i noticed that one of the waitresses who had on a mask was coughing. I don't know what she was doing, if she was cleaning the eating utensils, if she was preparing food. I don't know exactly what she was doing. There was a slight barrier where I couldn't see exactly what she was doing, but she did have her mask on. Now they wanna come up here and make all this noise and I'm starting my YouTube video. Come, come on, son. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm sitting there eating and I purposely put myself towards the back because I don't like being around too many people when I'm eating. You know, we got this whole COVID thing going on. People are coughing. And um, I just don't like too many people around me. You know, I'm a private person. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Flatbush cat. You know, we kind of like a, we, we're, we're private people. But I get to, you know, I was sitting by myself eating, minding my own business. And I'm thinking, why is she gotta be over here when I'm eating? Why couldn't she put herself on the other side of the aisle a little further away? I'm feeling like maybe she keeping eyes on me or something, you know? But I was like, all right, let me just push her out of my mind and just keep eating. So I'm sitting there eating, I'm parlaying and I'm eating and I start hearing, What? Come on, man. You eating? I mean, you coughing and I'm over here eating. I wanted to say something, but I, then I had remembered a scripture um, that basically gives the message in so many words, follow peace with all men. And I have to, I have to, you know, I have to abide by that. So instead of me going, Bro, what are you doing? Why are you coughing? Why don't you just go move somewhere else? I just stayed, sat there and stayed quiet. But I'm taking little glances and I'm like, this female, this waitress, she coughed more than once. Then I, I, I'm assuming about allegedly three times. So I get to um, Uh, what do you call it? I get to the second plate and 
before I could get to the second plate, I, 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 I'm assuming that I probably was still on the first plate. I can't quite remember. Now, before, I'ma say, allegedly, I'ma assume, uh, before I could get to the, make it in the second plate, or allegedly after the second plate, I can't remember, another person starts to walk through the aisle where the food, where the little food aisle is, where you can pick your food selections. Now, I can't tell if this person is male or female. This person has a thin build, and I just can't tell, and the person, while they were walking past the food aisle, they coughed. And this person did not, I'm gonna say again, did not have a mask on. The other person were walking towards me, getting ready to pass me and go to the bathroom. Again, I felt a little something starting to rise up in me. And I, I felt like I wanted to say something. You need to cover your mouth or something. I said, no, I gotta catch myself. Follow peace with all men. Even though it was a female, but it's, it, it, it did look like a, it looked like a young, a young boy between 18 and 22 years old. So I noticed that they were coughing, which really motivated me to make this video today. Now this video is venting my frustration at these employees yesterday coughing. And it also motivated me to make this video to inspire people to create a COVID-19 based side hustle. Now, because they coughed yesterday, little do they know, or they don't know at all, they profited me because you just gave me a content idea. That's the reason why I'm making this video to share this idea with you. So literally today, this video is about starting a video and a blogging based COVID-19 side hustle. Now people like me and millions of other people throughout America feel some kind of way about taking the COVID vaccine. I haven't taken the COVID vaccine and I'm not going to because I don't know what's in that syringe. I don't know what's in that vaccine. Now, this is strictly hearsay. This is hearsay. I don't have no concrete facts, but I allegedly read something on the internet a while back. I don't know how true this is. I'm not saying no names of no pharmaceutical companies. Allegedly, Part of the COVID-19 vaccine is developed off of aborted fetuses. Again, this is just hearsay. I don't know how true this is, but because I heard or because I allegedly read that on the internet, it's part of the reason why I don't want to take the vaccine. Another reason why I don't want to take the COVID vaccine because I don't like needles. I don't like nobody sticking nothing in my body. I don't know nothing about, and I don't like pharmaceutical medicine. So because I don't like pharmaceutical medicine, because I um, am against the COVID vaccine, because these two employees coughed yesterday while I was sitting there supposedly enjoying my lunch, that motivated me to make this video. So today I'm gonna talk about a COVID-19 based side hustle. A lot of people, including myself, don't want to take the COVID vaccine, but you want to keep your immune system boosted. Excuse me one second. I'm ready to start by. I got I got to get some. I got to get some juice. Some juice. Got to get some juice up in here. Mouth going a little dry. Okay. Hopefully, y'all can hear me while they got the little construction stuff going on. I just picked this nice little location down by the waterfront. Now, um, what was I getting ready to say? Oh, so it's, this video today is about a natural way, not only to boost your immune system, but to show others how to do it and build a business off of it and make money. Millions of people, including myself, feel some kind of way about taking the COVID vaccine. And they want to learn natural ways to boost their immune system without taking the vaccine. One of the ways you can make money online 
with showing people how to naturally boost their immune system and overcome COVID is by doing what I'm doing, starting a YouTube channel. And when you start your natural COVID-19 immune boosting YouTube channel, I encourage you to do your research before you get on video so this way you know what you're talking about. Now, one of the ways you can naturally boost your immune system and start a side hustle, showing others how to do this exact same thing you're doing and make money from it is by going on some of these natural herbal vitamin uh, websites and or maybe perhaps even performing a search in Google for natural methods to over to boost your immune system other than taking the vaccine. Now for me, I personally already know how to boost my immune system naturally without taking the COVID-19 vaccine. And this is one of the websites that I get my herbs from. They're really great, they're very affordable, and it's a site called pipingrock.com. Uh, pipingrock.com is definitely the place to um, get natural herbs like this from. This is echinacea and golden seal. I have been taking this for quite some time and folks, let me tell you, this actually works. Echinacea, golden seal, the natural herbs of the earth that boost your immune system naturally and completely liberates you from being dependent on the pharmaceutically engineered COVID vaccine. This will start working right away. If you're experiencing fatigue, um, headache, if you're experiencing irregular heart function, or even some brain fog or some sleep problems, um, I'm not being paid, I'm not being endorsed to, to, to put this on camera, but ladies and gentlemen, this actually works. When you start your COVID-19 based side hustle, be passionate about showing people the natural ways to boost their immune system because people, millions of people daily search YouTube, they search Bing, Google, and Yahoo for natural methods to boost their immune system. If you're passionate about showing people the natural ways on video and by starting a blog, a self-hosted WordPress blog, and if you're interested in starting a self-hosted WordPress blog, visit the link in the header description of this YouTube video for more information on how to start a self-hosted WordPress blog. There is an initial upfront investment required. However, it only costs you a pink. <laughs> going forward so I know as a guaranteed fact that this right here will boost your immune system if you create a YouTube channel and blogs showing people that echinacea and golden seal actually works and you're passionate about what you do you can monetize your blog with Google AdSense you can monetize your YouTube videos with affiliate links from online health food stores whereas if those people click the affiliate links and they make us they make a purchase online because that's your unique affiliate link you will make money it's called an affiliate commission and affiliate marketing is the way to diversify yourself to earning streams of passive income from YouTube videos and from blogs and the more you're consistent with uploading videos to your YouTube channel discussing natural methods to overcome COVID-19, the more blogs you write and publish about natural methods to overcoming the COVID-19, the more you increase the probability of earning free traffic from YouTube search results, the more you increase the probability of making uh, more money from your blogs with Google ads on it, the more you increase the probability of earning more affiliate commissions from the affiliate links promoted in your YouTube videos and on your blogs. Excuse me one second, let me see. 
Okay, so this thing is still all right. Okay, this I was I was trying to update the camera on my phone, and it no I noticed that it still we went back to square one. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. So because these two female workers at this restaurant coughed yesterday, and yes, they did cough. That's what motivated me to make this video. Now I'm gonna put you on to something else. When I was going to pay for my lunch yesterday, I noticed that the price had went up a dollar. So I had asked them, I, you know, since when did it go up? You know, since when did the price increase go up a dollar? The female, work, one of the female workers, I'm not sure if, if it was the one in the back that was coughing or if it was another female worker, but a female worker was towards the front of the cashier, close to the, to the front register for me to pay for my food. She had a mask on and she comes over and says, you see, $11.99. I asked her, I said, well, when did the price increase? She started walking away. I said, oh, you walking away from me? I said, I'm asking you a question. You walking away from me? So I guess they were mad because I am a frequent um, customer, well, almost frequent customer of their restaurant. And because they know in the back of their mind, I don't leave tips and they already know I don't order like soda or juice or anything. They know that I get water every time I come in. They know I don't leave tip. I guess they, they remembered that and they don't want to answer my question. So I, I kind of said out loud, I said, well, you ain't got to worry about me no more. I ain't coming up in here no more. And I won't be going in there anymore. So with the price increase and noticing that these two females were coughing, in which I, one of them I thought was a male, uh, the one that coughed with no mask on had on a green and black striped top. And that actually turned out to be the cashier that took my money. So I kind of, you know, I had to peep the, I had to peep the, uh, the backside. I had to look at the cheeks. I said the cheeks with the Jezebel pants on. I had to look at the cheeks. I said, oh, it had a little feminine curve. Oh, that's a female. I didn't know. I, I assume that's a female. I don't know if it's an FTM, a female trying to be a man, you know, but a uh, very thin build. Didn't have too much, uh, didn't have too much not, uh, nothing. I think it was a little flat chest. I said it, Lord forgive me. But um, a little mostly flat chested, but it turned out to be a female. I'm gonna say I'm assume a female, if not an FTM. A uh, female trying to be a man, because there ain't no female turning into a man. It's female trying to be a male. I don't know, whatever the case is. But the one that coughed with no mask on yesterday ended up being the person that was taking my money. There was another young, uh, there was a young, black female standing at the register i don't know if she was ordering food or waiting to be seated so while the female with the green and black striped top on with no mask that walked past me previously was coughing was taking my money i kind of mumbled to the black females that uh you know they coughing coughing up in here. in other words be watch your back be careful they they, they coughing up in here and I remember the one in the back is coughing too and she kind of nodded at me like mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah watch watch your back so little do these people know that they profited me to make this video because they just gave me a new idea in which I wanted, that's the reason why I wanted to share with you today. The takeaway from this video is this. You can become, if you're passionate enough and stay consistent with this, using a self-hosted WordPress blog and a YouTube channel combined. If you're passionate about starting this type of side hustle, showing people natural methods to overcoming the COVID-19, you can become a COVID millionaire online. Excuse me. But again, this is not a get rich quick operation. You have to wanna do this because there's people out here that really feel some kind of way, including myself, about taking this COVID vaccine. I'm not vaccinated and I'm not getting vaccinated. And I will be overlooked because of that. And I don't care what people think. And I'm okay with that. As I mentioned, this right here is one of many ways to overcoming COVID-19. Another way that 
you can really spice up your COVID-19 based side hustle with YouTube videos and blogging is showing people in YouTube videos and blog posts how juicing fresh fruits and vegetables can naturally boost their immune systems. This is the stuff that a lot of pharmaceutical companies don't want getting out to the people. You do not need the COVID-19 vaccine to overcoming COVID. What you need to do is, if you're already COVID positive, look into natural methods to overcoming COVID, especially with this, that's number one. Number two, profiting from helping people to overcome COVID by blogging about it and showing them natural methods to overcoming it with juicing fresh fruits and vegetables and taking natural herbs and showing people through YouTube videos. Another way I guarantee, I know for sure, this unique juice combination can boost your immune system and really kick the germs out of your body is by juicing yams, sweet potatoes, and garlic. Juicing yams is naturally beneficial to your immune system because it has the vitamin C, it has the beta carotene, it is sweet tasting juice, and drinking consistently um, daily portions of sweet potato juice, fortified and juicing it with garlic, Juicing small amounts of garlic with your sweet potato juice can build muscle. Sweet potato juice and garlic combined together can not only build muscle, but also boost your immune system. And for men, it naturally raises testosterone. When your testosterone is raised, I don't mean to be vulgar, but you go from this to brrr, ping. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. But juicing, like I said, sweet potatoes and garlic is one of many ways, in addition to taking herbs, that you can boost your immune system. And if when you blog about those types of things in, you, in, in a blog post and when you discuss it in YouTube videos, you build up your side hustle. So you're showing people how they can keep themselves healthy naturally, and on the flip side, you're making money from it, all right? Um, hopefully you got something out of this video. I'm not gonna stick around too long because they keep going, you know, that thing is making beep, 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 beep. And I'm getting, it's, it's irritating me, all right? So hopefully you got something out of this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. I have no clue what I'm gonna talk about. I might talk about Kevin Samuels. I might talk about Elon Musk. I will definitely talk about those two in the near future YouTube videos, but I don't know if those two are going to be um, the topic of the next video. I, I don't know. A lot of this, I have to be honest with you before I close out. I do not sit and rehearse words that I'm going to say in a YouTube video. I get topics that just come to my mind most of the time. Or I may sit and, and brainstorm about what I'm going to talk about, but I do not sit with a script. Today I'm going to say this, this, and that verbatim. What I do is I take a lot of my current and past life experiences and I discuss it in videos and hopefully sharing something um, valuable with you. So the takeaway from this video is this. COVID can make you a millionaire. If you open up your understand, if you open up your mind, open up your understanding and learn how to use the internet to generate steady streams of passive income, thinking outside of the box and willing to take a risk and doing things that others aren't willing to do, you can set yourself up to earning streams of passive income for years to come, quit your day job, and be totally liberated from working for someone else. But again, you have to really wanna do this. This is your passion project, your side hustle. This is the business of you. This is what you make of it. Hopefully, you got something out of this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you in a video response. And um, on the way out, please feel free to smash the like button. 
it will help me in the YouTube algorithm and uh, I will rank higher in YouTube search results, all right? Flatbush Cat is back at it, crafting like Craftmatic. Over and out. Peace.